What's going on guys? Gomes here, back again on another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty video. As you guys know this year, uh, what SDS did, a lot of it wasn't exactly reinventing the wheel, but it was upgrading and improving on the new implementations they've had in the last few years, such as the parallels from prestigious that was a good welcome change uh, rank seasons making those rewards more accessible and even the servers clearly they haven't been pleased with how poor they've performed in the past so they decided to improve on you know that regard and make them even worse seriously i, I just kind of want to get this out of the way so have you guys noticed how when you buy a card this will happen There you go. That's usually a shorter example. I, I, I swear to God. It, it's quite annoying. I could take a piss. I could cook a minute rice. I could read through the entire terms of service. I could watch an entire damn Yankees game elapse. Anyway, Team Affinity. They improved on that and we're talking about how to get those babies fast. Leave a like if you guys do enjoy these as always. Subscribe would be a welcomed addition. We hit 50k, but why not 51? Am I right? So uh, tips, gameplays, all that nature is going to be here. And going to make a video on the best Team Affinities to go for. Should be tonight. Might want to tune into that one. So uh, talking about Team Affinities. Um, pretty good at navigating these menus now. And like Ferdinand Magellan just navigating this shit um but so programs there we go yeah that's how you do it um completing these fast so these are all grouped into one and it's just a choice pack so there's no team specific things it's just division specific uh makes it easier i, I have no issues with that i think it just makes things more simplistic and you are greeted with this you know, kind of overwhelming list of tasks to do with missions, moments, conquests, March to October, questions, exchanges. What should you be doing? Uh, this is what I recommend. So, first of all, you have to understand that it's going to take you up till 60 to get the first one, and then it's only going to take increments of 30 uh, to get the next preceding four for each and every one that's the case. 60 points to get the first, and then 30 um, each corresponding 42 series card uh, until you max out that division for season one uh so there really is a slew of things to do um but there is some clear favorites so let me detail what i recommend for getting up to the first 60 uh and you kind of have to talk about showdown if, uh at first which showdown how good is it it is better than last year it is quicker it is less challenging i think they really did help out those that are going to be new to the game maybe not going to be too good at the game uh so yes that is at large going to be the quickest way, just playing four showdowns to get the first 60. But if that's not what you want to do, if you're not the best at showdown, uh, this is also a pretty simple way to get there, which would be doing the first exchange. As you can see, I did. Um, it's going to take teams or division specific players and you are going to need 20,000 points. I would surmise it's going to cost you less than 5k, probably three to four depending on if you have any cards already and you also do get this aos silver and bronze you get two silvers two bronze i got shohei otani you know so he goes for 4k sold him and that paid for the whole exchange so that definitely can happen they have the moment challenges i will admit some of these can be more difficult than showdown i honestly just how random the game can be at some points because at least you have 15 outs to reimburse for bullshit uh not the case here where you just have to keep uh you know re repeatedly restarting things so moments it's going to net you 10 for each one that gets you up to 15 which would leave you to three showdowns and uh like i said showdown is definitely the quickest i would have rather did it than the moments but i wanted to see how painful how uh unfun they would be just to kind of push me into the right direction to say you know what when you do this for the rest of the divisions uh maybe don't even look showdowns way so uh, i am going to actually go ahead and grab my first one here because I do have enough vouchers. I have 15 of them bad boys, which is going to be 15 points. And that is <laughs> times three. Jesus Christ. Uh, I see it only took five. It took one. What the hell? Good Lord. There's no way, right? There's no way I'm going to have to do this 15 times. I will meet back with you momentarily. This is like if a vending machine only took pennies. 
for like a two dollar beverage like i said you know they're definitely upgrading at all aspects so uh we have our pack there we're up to 60 uh we'll probably open that at the end because i want to talk about uh showdown i don't know if i'm going to make a specific video on it so we'll talk about it here on uh, really what's the best strategies and if you're brand new it's definitely going to help if you're not new it still might help a little bit just to get one gomer's opinion if that means anything to you uh 500 stubs entry i think that is 500 less so a bit of a bargain and again what i mean it is just really easy this year i find it showdown is uh, a lot easier than it was last year and i didn't think it was particularly challenging last year i always usually like to pick your don alvarez i've been doing the aos a lot great swing good power usually what you're looking for here you're playing on veteran for the final showdown so really no reason not to just uh stack power always love muncie look for guys that you like look for good stats uh you're always gonna get a pitcher right here i don't really care I, i'm just gonna to pick up hose berries my guy um and essentially what you're looking for is just the best player available as far as hitting goes don't look at feeling at all in fact you're really going to be fine from at least the ones i've experienced with playing catchers at center field with playing right fielders at pitcher if you could uh you know don't feel bad or don't feel worried about that just really pick the best hitter because you're not experiencing too many defensive uh or pitching moments at least in my opinion with my strategy because a lot of the time what will happen to me is it will be get two hits in three innings or get two extra base hits in three innings i can usually get that done within that first three outs that i have so i don't even have to worry about pitching but even if i did it's on such low difficulty that you're just going to strike them out quite easily you're not gonna have too much uh, trouble with that so um like i said just kind of pick the best offensive player like edwin rios i already have a 3b i have a 1b uh i don't really need uh him in general terms but he's the best hitter so he's definitely going to be the pick always keep an eye on inside edge rally time is by far my favorite perk it's a brand new one exit velo boost uh while losing which spoiler alert you're always going to be losing uh pretty much in every one of these scenarios especially for the final showdowns where it really matters that's where you can actually lose out so i think rally time is always worth it if you do see it um then try not to focus at least the gold and diamond ones on anything that has to do with innings because those are null and void for final showdowns pitching ones i usually don't care about green light is good 2-0 and 3-1 counts especially if you're doing the final showdowns they get worn down they're gonna throw a lot more balls to you um than rally time so like i said that's always a good one make sure it equip blows it's not gonna do it uh you know just automatically so you have to manually do that shit and here's kind of how i would set up shop um like i said i all kind of prioritize where these guys would regularly play um but i'll i'm cool with max muncie having 58 out of uh position fielding right there i'm more than okay with it have moustakas play there uh can luke voigt play third base you know what it doesn't say so but in this world he is it's gonna be just fine as i said don't feel bad about really getting funky with that usually like to have my best hitter hit second somebody who i can rely on getting on base first home runs are the name of the game especially in final showdowns and not hitting into double plays that's the biggest thing you have to avoid uh so i don't think i'm gonna get into a game here but what i do want to say is if you have a runner on first base and if it's a tough pitch don't even swing if even if it's a uh like a two strike count if you don't feel comfortable that you can make good contact with it i honestly think taking the strikeout's going to be better than getting frustrated losing that momentum and losing whoever you have on first base as well so that is important try to have at least one speed guy we have garrett hampson and tapia too that's plenty good um so they will pick off a lot of times if you have a guy like garrett hampson at first base which is you know annoying isn't what you would enjoy to happen but it is what it is especially have him in at second base is nice uh so that is important and what i do is i play the first three so i make it six to twelve and then i skip to the final showdown i think that's plenty enough for me again as i said it is on veteran difficulty 
Uh, always make sure Intel, or look rather, at the final showdown right after drafting for corresponding picks that you're going to get after doing these moments because you're going to be able to tell what uh, handedness the pitcher is. So I'm facing the Twins. You're only facing 42 series cards, so it's going to be against Jose Barrios, which... You know, it's a favorable matchup, and I would pick a lot more lefties or just guys in general that have good splits versus right-handers. So uh, that's some general guidance that I can give you guys. If you're not too great at showdown, by all means, play them all. If it means taking a little bit more time, it's definitely worth it, uh, you know, to spare another 10 minutes opposed to, you know, having to do another 30 to actually get the showdown done because you lost the final showdown because you just couldn't... Uh, couldn't stand the heat of this burning flame right here of the final showdown. So, uh, definitely do recommend that. It is quite quick and it is easier in my opinion. Veteran difficulty, you can power swing a lot of the time. But do keep in mind some of your perks only count for normal swings. Um, and then I guess we're going to open up this pack right here. Which is going to be of the AL West. And it is going to be, of course, Joey Gallo. Is that a question? Did you think I was going to pick David Fletcher? Probably not. Uh, I hope not, for your sanity and mine. So, Gal is going to join the team, probably get gameplay with him tomorrow. Like I said, going to outline my favorites that you guys should be picking up, should be looking forward to. And, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this one, leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing with MLB 21. What team affinities have you gotten done so far? Hope you guys have a great day. Take some Saudi